Tucson Fire Department says 2023 was its busiest year ever. Yeah, between wildfires and rescue calls, uh, crews, it's been all hands on deck. And News 4 Tucson's Danny McFarland joins us live from TFD headquarters downtown with more on these numbers. Daniel. Well, Sean, Monica, as you guys mentioned, very, very busy. In fact, more than 103,000 calls were issued to TFD, with more than 100,000 of those just being medical related. Now, a few of the notes we saw when we were going through this is that they responded to more than 300 structure fires where crews had av actively had to get involved to put out that fire with their heavy duty equipment. That is also an increase in previous years as well. The one thing they are most proud of, though, is something which they call life years added back to the community and the chief talked about that. Tucson Fire's uh, cardiac arrest survival rate, out of hospital cardiac arrest survival rate is among the highest in the nation. It is by far the highest in the state of Arizona. And last year alone, just in calendar year 23, we had 66 people who our crews encountered who were in cardiac arrest on our crew's arrival, meaning no pulse, no breathing. They were revived and they walked out of the hospital after medical treatment to be productive members of the community again. And so you know, one of the big reasons that they say they had an increase in responses across the board is population growth in the city of Tucson, along with the age of our community, which is higher than average versus the rest of the country. And really another thing we've seen an increase of is small brush fires along the roadways, especially on the west side of town. That's also causing an increase that has a lot to do with warmer temperatures and drier conditions out there. Back to you guys. All right, thank you for that, Daniel. Oh. So while we might be getting a slight relief from extreme temperatures this week,